Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys, girls, dogs, and cats. Welcome back to Calm Down Level Up. Today we're here again. Holy shit. In some Hearts of Iron 4. Uh, Kaiser Reich. If a few days ago we did a live stream where we played as the Sardom of Bulgaria. It was super fun. I forgot how amazing uh, this mod is. This mod's kind of one of those ones where you play it a couple times and then you put it away for a while because you know the story and, and you know, you've you played it enough. But then after a while you want to come back and, and you, this, I'm having one of those times right now. So. We're gonna do an Iron Guard Romania playthrough. Um, I turned off historical, uh, historical, what is it? Historical focuses so that um, we don't have to play the the story exactly how it goes. Um, but we can still uh, see how far we can get. Last time on the live stream, if you um, haven't watched that or you're interested in watching the Bulgaria game, um, I posted the live stream on on full. It's about halfway through the live stream. It's it's on my uh, it's on my front page. You should be able to find it. I uploaded it as a video. But yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to try and take over the Balkans as as uh, Romania. I don't know exactly, like, all the little... Like, I know there's a bunch of changes with this with this mod, like, especially how you set up your government and stuff. I'm still um, not very familiar with this, so if I make some mistakes doing this... Also, it looks like we're very nationalist, which is pretty cool. Um, if I'm not super good at that, you can let me know if you, if you guys know how to better set this up than me. Um, I, I would love to take some tips. That'd be pretty sweet, actually. But basically, we're going to defeat Hungary. Hungary is a b large enemy of Romania in this game, um, because... Oh, uh, shit. Well, I guess they're kind of always enemies, but... <laughs> well, we always have the rivalries, right? But we're gonna go farther than just defeat Hungary and reclaim, you know, Transylvania and stuff. We're going to go farther than that, and, uh, we're going to just take them over. on Just annex them all. We're gonna annex the entire... Um, well, most of it, probably. We'll, we'll probably make a few puppets, but here we go, boys, okay? So, we're, we're gonna annex a lot of shit. Um, so, oh shit, look. So, this is gonna kick it off pretty fast. I don't know if we want to go towards the Claim Transylvania quite yet. Um, but what else do we have? I've never actually played as Romania before on this mod. So, this is air, uh, this is like air focusing, this is navy focusing. Um, remilitarize. So, this is gonna give us our remilitarization. We're gonna need that if we're gonna, when, we're, when we attack, uh, Hungary. I think Hungary's pretty strong. We might want to wait till the Balkan War to actually attack them, or I'm not I'm not sure if maybe our war with Hungary starts the Balkan War. I'm not sure how that works. Oh, this is going to be nice. Okay, this is going to change the law to... Wait, what do we have right now? Okay, that's going to give us early mobilization, like, right off the bat. That's pretty sweet, actually. And then this is going to give us building slots. Okay, cool. Um, let's go, f go for our economy pretty quick here. Um, let's kick that off. We have... How many factories? Okay, we have five. So we can, we can, you know, just start stockpiling some guns. Um, even if we don't have the resources, we can figure that out. And probably, probably support equipment. We'll do one of those and a, and an arty. So we'll start stockpiling as many guns as we can. And let's see kind of what resources we need. We need like, we have pretty good surplus of oil shit. Oh yeah, we have 70 oil. Oh, and once we take over like hungry we're gonna be set look at all that iron and uh shit little is that aluminum yeah we're gonna take over uh everyone here there's a lot of resources here i didn't even realize that oh yeah and i forgot how much chromium is is in turkey too okay so we need some steel um we can trade with the german empire that'd probably be nice and we also need one tungsten one aluminum okay that's quite annoying actually but i think we're we'll probably be fine uh without that let me actually just wait how many uh, resource slots do we have i'm sorry we have three that's pretty sweet actually okay we're gonna grab this we're going to grab destruction or i mean basic machine tools and we're gonna grab those the weapons the weapons one probably be, probably be okay we start out with quite the manpower that's pretty sweet so oh shit kaiserreich yeah 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 yeah. thank you kaiserreich team gracias uh, great job. I I want only inform me about major events. Yeah, I've I've done all the the, the minor events quite a lot, so we're just gonna do the, the 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 major events, which is we start out with some good manpower too, which is pretty sweet. Uh, just for oh wait, what do we have right now? Oh, we do already have limited limited conscription, so um, that is why we have that much. And once we take some spots here, we will get a little bit more. Oh shit, Black Monday. Mine got. Afghanistan and India have gone to war. This always never goes good. Or this never goes good for Afghanistan, shit. 
Um, recipes Afghanistan. The Fifth Anglo-Afghani War. All right. Yep. Um, so Afghanistan's either going to be fully annexed or they're just going to lose these two states in white peace. In the, uh, in the main game with the historical focuses, they, they white peace and these just go back to India. That's how that works. But, um, there's a battle going on here. Oh yeah. Yeah, they're losing already. Oh shit. Turkestan and Alash Orda are, are, are at war. Okay. Um, we'll see if, uh, oh shit, there we go. Sweet. We'll see if Russia is going to try to rebuild themselves. Um, this, this game, this would be nice. We'll go for this, and then we'll go for the remilitariz remilitarization. Um, we'll see if Russia is going to try to rebuild themselves, or if they're just going to be a, a kind of lame duck state, th this game again. Who knows, they, they kind of do both sometimes. The first international congress, sweet. Okay, now we've got our upgrade there, and we could probably get another one too, just so we could really get speeding up here, and then we'll, then we'll focus on other things. Oh, look at this. Afghanistan. Oh, shit. Break up circle. Budapest circle. Uh, research time plus 10% per plus 10 per year. Shit. Okay. Well, Dominion of India. They signed a white peace. Yeah, look. They just signed a white peace away their, uh, their states. Rest in peace. States that belonged to Afghanistan, but now again belong to India. McLeek and Mongolia. There they go. They These guys always... I'm not sure if that's how you say it. Is it Cleek? Hopefully that's that's correct. Those guys just go at it every time, don't they? Shit. All right, we are going to remilitarize Olet Olentia, Olentia. Shit. And we can after that we'll go for our infrastructure effort. We're not going to claim Transylvania quite yet. We are behind. I think we'll probably okay. We're we're building like one unit in Moldova, but uh, I think we're probably still behind Hungary in, in military. Oh, would you look at that? We got our new guy. Sweet. We're going to train these guys up just to get a couple of little army experiences here. Experience points before we um, are actually going to start needing them when we design need to design new shit. We got a new guy here. We got we got some ships here. Oh, we have no... We can get one for free, though. Let's get a free one. Um, and we'll just put these guys in the Black Sea for now. We'll probably have to use this fleet later. Okay. We remilitarized... The, the area. Shit. Um, that means our guys are going to spread out a little bit. Amazing. Potential increase in stability. When our political power gains, we now have the chance to improve our stability. That's great. I'm happy about that. Okay. Um, entrenched party requires all the following. Political power plus 100%. That's amazing. Change popularity of nationalist populace. Okay, we, we want to secure ourselves, and then we're going to go after... Transylvania. Tibet capitulated. Tibet was in that war? Oh shit, yeah. Wow, uh, this this country is really establishing itself as a as a power in this area. I wonder if Mongolia will be able to even hold on. Mongolia is fun to watch in this game because sometimes they do super good and other times they just get crushed. But let's hope they do good. Okay, we need our land doctrine before we actually attack. So I'm thinking we're going to go for maybe not entrenchment. Reinforcement rate and minimum training level, that'd be nice. Soft attack. Um, I think we're going for reinforcement rate. What are these guys over here? Max entrenchment, entrenchment speed. I think we're gonna go for the mass assault, just because we are the ones that are going to be being aggressive here. And actually we need to research a few more of these, so let's make sure we're on top of that. Right now we're going for entrench party. Um, that's gonna give us some PPs that we're gonna need. All right, we have entrenchment party. We're going to claim Transylvania. How long is that going to take, actually? 70 days, okay. High po high party popularity. Sweet, political power gain. Oh shit, America's just fallen into civil war like they always do, yep. It's the second American civil war, of course. And uh, I'm gonna get my claim here in a sec. Oh shit, declared war in Pacific states. Man, America, you just... Oh, in Canada claimed New England too, so. America, you're just you're just really, really not not doing too good right now. Oh, United Mexican States declared war in America too. Holy shit! Oh my god. Democracy prevails. Uh, Manila. Nice Republic of the Philippines still alive. Me okay. Oh shit. Mexico white pieced and they they gave them a lot. Wow. 
They gave them uh, Arizona, New Mexico, and Texas. I wonder how Texas feels about that. I don't know. United Mexican States, declared war in Pacific States of America. Holy shit. I'll have to see who comes out on top of that. Hopefully the uh, Pacific States. I don't know. That's just mine. That's just mine. Republic of Korea declared war in Japan. Okay, so there's another revolution in Korea. They're trying to become independent from the Japanese. We'll have to see how that how that works. Maybe the Koreans will be able to do it. Maybe they'll they'll get crushed. Looks like there's a lot of battles happening up here now, actually. Oh yeah, how are the Turks doing over here? Or the I mean the Turkestanis, the, the Turkestan versus essentially Kazakhstan, Alash Orda. Uh, looks like Kazakhstan's actually winning for the most part, um, which is pretty funny. One of those guys will come out on top. Okay, the Congress of Belgrade. Shit. So, uh, we can join a pact, Belgrade, Belgrade, um, with Serbia. I think this includes a bunch of people, like Serbia. I think it's actually, it's Serbia, Romania, and Greece, I think. Or, it, might, it probably says it right here. Um, oh, against the Bulgarian menace. Yes, I want to attack Bulgaria. So, I will join your pact, but, uh, after this, man, you guys are going down. I'm going to have to leave. I'm sorry. Oh, and there's the Spanish Civil War. Man. Uprisings and civil wars all over the world. Another Spanish re revolution. Shit. All the, all the Spanish are fighting each other. Okay. Well, it looks like uh, Korea lost. Shit. Fourth Balkan War. Okay, we've, we've declared it. Uh, uniting the Balkan lands beyond. Okay. Um... Onwards to victory, Serbia declared war on Bulgaria. So am I on, uh, am I at war with Bulgaria? Are they, are they calling me into war? Yeah, they're calling me to arms. Okay. We're actually gonna bring all these guys over from Hungary. We, we really don't need them over. We don't really don't need them over in Hungary yet, right now. Um, oh shit, my fleet is fighting a, uh, Bulgarian fleet out there. Hopefully they do, they do okay. Shit, we have to cross a river. That's never good. Um... We'll have to see how we do. Oh, shit, we have air wings? Oh, perfect. Oh, yeah, let's just set him right here. Boom, boom. Okay, we have air superiority, uh, which is nice. Free military factories. Uh, let's stock up some of that shit. Okay, cool. Okay, let's see if we can get over this river. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move one of these dudes over. There we go, and then we'll take, oh shit, that guy's gonna lose pretty fast. We'll take uh, like all four of these units and attack. Oh shit, my, my, my units went into Serbia, I didn't realize that. We're gonna have these guys attack right here. Take this spot. Spain was annexed, rip Spain. We need to push the Bulgars from the border so we can cross this river. Oh, sweet. Our guys got across. Okay, cool. Let's see if we can grab Sophie, Sophia really, really, really quick. No, you, you gotta stay. You gotta stay here. That's important. Oh, we might be... Oh, shit, no. Now we're losing. Okay. Let's just stay here. Okay, the Serbians are moving in, too. Okay, we gotta take this province. Should take that pretty quick. Okay, perfect. Oh shit, no, they've, they've moved up. Oh wait, have they? No, they haven't. They're, they've actually retreated. Let's actually start walking down the coast here. Amazing. Okay, we're gonna grab Sofia. It's not for Sofia, it's Sofia. Okay, some Bulgarian assholes uh, trying to walk around in, in Romania, so let's just surround them real quick. Wait, we, they white pieced Serbia. They white pieced. Serbia com becomes controller of. Well, I wanted some. Hold on, am I still at war? Oh, this is bullshit. This is some bullshit right here. Oh, I gotta leave this faction, man. This is a bad idea. Assassination attempt. Okay, our great our great leader had an assassination attempt on him. 
We can say it was a lone madman, which will give us some PPs, but uh, we can also say it's obviously a foreign agent, which will give us some some uh, some negative opinions, which might be actually come in handy. But uh, I don't know. I think we'll just say it was a lone madman for now. We need to re-prepare for our invasion of excuse me for uh, our invasion of Hungary. It's going to happen very soon. All right, let's make a new artillery division. We're probably just gonna go like. Three by three. I don't know how. I don't. I'm not exactly sure how to make good artilleries, artillery uh, divisions. I think we probably want to do like, because they're more mostly just for support and defense. Um, we could probably do like a infantry, like two infantries, on it as well. That'd probably be good. Let's do arties. Just do some arty right here. Already right there. Sweet, perfect. Okay, save it. We need an arty division. Train. What's America look like right now? Holy shit. Um, I think just the United States is not going to exist now for this. Usually the US can pull back from the civil wars, but I don't I don't think so this time, boys. I think combined syndicates of America and uh, un American Union state and Mexico and and actually it looks like the Pacific states of America is actually like conquering Mexico a little bit <laughs> which is kind of funny shit um, and also New England New England's just chilling there um, we'll have to see what happens in New England it'd be funny if New England just like ended up annexing all the states anyways boys I'm gonna have to end this one here thank you so much for watching if you like this make sure to leave a like favorite and subscribe if you're new if you want to see more make sure to leave it in the comment and I'll see you guys all next time when we attack Hungary all right peace